Okay, my friends, let's just start off with this. PubMed, this is from the government. These are just supposed to be the experts. 2021, vaccination. Everybody understands about vaccinations. Now, some people are totally against, some people are totally for them. We'll get into that in a minute. But they're talking about vaccination as one thing and then immunotherapy as another thing for major depression. So those two different things, what works and what doesn't, or do they both work? And we're going to look and see, uh, you know, or, or does anything work? Nothing works. Who knows? But we, I can tell you one thing right now. There is a major disastrous outbreak of depression among kids specifically. Uh, well, I think most of the population. But, you know, we're going through some hard times. Obviously, this COVID thing is not comfortable for a lot of people. It's a disaster for a lot of people. Th these hurricanes and, and tornadoes. And, I mean, just it's, life can be a nightmare. So how do you fight back against it? How do you get mentally stable to deal with these terrible issues that we're dealing with right at this moment? And I don't think they're going to get a whole lot better. It's not going to be, you're going to try to have to get yourself immune as much as you can from depression. And the way you can do this, I believe, is to beef up your immune system. They're saying immune dysfunction. So if, you're, if your immune system doesn't work, it causes neuroinflammation. Neuroinflammation is your brain cells or your, your, your something in your thought processes is being invaded and, and getting causing all problems. And autism is the same thing. We, we basically cured autism almost by using probiotics for two, about three years now. Um, a good friend, and she went on to study the um, probiotics and the immune system and all of the the gut interactions with bacteria and uh, there's little organelles inside the cells that do all kinds of things and she, that's, she got way deep into that now anyway recent years they're focusing on this and it helps us understand depression because depression is is a gut issue just like everything else and your gut provides the bacteria that break down the foods to collect the correct products you need in your body and they also those bacteria live in the membranes and they keep bad stuff out and keep good stuff in but and they have to transfer in and out they are the gatekeepers and if you don't have those good ones who are in you you are going to get invaded and really slammed and especially if you, that's what they call um, immunocompromised. You're immunocompromised. Your immune system's not working right. Well, why? What is your immune system? What is your immune system? It's the bacteria that live in the membranes. That's it. You get through the membrane, you're done. And that's what it does. That's what, what cancer does. And that's what all diseases do. Some of them go in quick like that and you really get slapped right to the ground and that's what this COVID is because you've got nothing to back you up if no we really don't, haven't ever seen it before it's what they call a novel disease new unknown to your bacteria so your bacteria have to develop a strategy to divide, beat that but you should have enough slime and stuff and mucus and all that stuff to keep most of it out and by the time it really invades you you should be able to respond that is a highly effective immune system an immune system that is already compromised. And they say, oh, the guy's got immunocompromised. What does that mean? Well, that means there's some bacteria in him that are not protecting certain organs. As you know, he's got lung disease, or he's got kidney disease, or he's got diabetes, he's got this, he's got liver, all kinds of issues. And all, every one of those is a different type of chemistry. And that different type of chemistry appears to me that the bacteria that create that chemistry in that specific type of chemistry that it has to live in, it might be salty, it might be acidy, it might be have bile, it might have stomach acids, it, but whatever it is, the bacteria that are supposed to live there, and there's 80,000 different bacteria in your body, so there's all kinds of them living there. And as you get older, apparently they die off and you get less and less bacteria protecting you. So you have become more and more attackable. <laughs> 
you be, you know well, what 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 else could you say? You become more and more easily invaded because you don't have the bacteria, you don't have the slime, you don't have the serosa, the mucosa, and you know I've shown this very clearly about the immune system and how cancer invades and I've been doing this for, for the last couple of weeks because you know I ran into a situation where a situation where I could investigate this carefully and I have people that can report to me exactly what is happening real time so um, it, we need to get the immune system working, and they know this. And the same thing with the cancer. Right now, it's can everything failed in the cancer treatments. 100% failed. 100%. They they would nibble away here and nibble away there. But if you don't have the good digestive system, which you already started out with a bad one, that's how you got invaded in the first place because something was missing. And unless you replace it, it's either done. But I can tell you what: if you replace the bacteria that you need. I think you can almost turn around almost any disease. So if I was you and I had any disease whatsoever, I would immediately start taking probiotics. And that's exactly what the National Institute of Health says. Even for COVID, they say take it. Not my words, that's them.